Hey all the tech geeks, all the coders out there, this is your Zenovative Coder and today we'll be learning how you can use Git efficiently and easily in a very easy manner. So uh, let's start. So uh, you must have heard about various open source organizations such as Fusasia and uh, Linux and all of that stuff. So uh, these open source organizations are open source because all of their code is open source. So basically open source means that all of the code they have given to you and you can modify and uh, do some work with them or you can contribute and you can help those uh, organizations in developing. Uh, so uh, you don't get profit but you develop the things and you uh, learn the uh, and you get to you get an opportunity to learn all the things. So for using for contributing your uh, stuff in uh, these organizations you need to have you need to learn github you need to learn git and uh, because all the code of these organizations is on github so you need to learn git to contribute on github so uh, i have made this repo git made easy you can refer to this for all the commands that you must be that you may need in your uh, journey of github so i have listed down all the commands which i have encountered during my learning process of git these are necessary if you want to start contributing to open source organizations. So let's start here. So this is git made easy, uh, the name of my repo. And uh, so basically this is a repository. This is what it looks like. I will start with all the commands and all the uh, basic commands that you need to uh, that you need to have, that you need to uh, have in your mind and you need to understand uh, the processing of these commands. So firstly, uh, firstly, you uh, firstly you have to make any you have to make a repository. So uh, for making a repository, uh, what you can do is you can go to GitHub.com and go to GitHub.com and then here it is here it, here it is written new repository. So click on this. This kind of a page will appear. You can put the repository name over here and some description. And uh, depending upon your priority, you can make it public or private. Uh, then you can initiate initialize this repository with a readme so readme file is basically a file which uh, on on a first go if if a user is seeing your repository on a first go he can, he or she can is able to understand that what you have done in this repository and what you need to uh, do with your repository or you can uh, explain uh, that how we can compile the code or anything else if you uh, the, the, this is basically a gist of what you want to tell uh, th that what is uh, that what the, uh, the what the what your code is regarding so you can add a get dot get ignore file to ignore some uh, files and you can add a license and then you can click cre create repository and then your repository will be created uh, so uh, this is the basic step of creating a repository if you want uh, any code of yours uh, in your uh, computer to in your local uh, system to get updated on github what you can do is Firstly, you have to uh, have the code in your uh, in your file system. So let's suppose I have uh, all the code. So uh, I will explain you uh, via my git uh, made easy repo. I have listed down all the commands. So you can in initialize the repository. So first go into your terminal. I'll be going into my terminal and then you can do git init. So I am into git made easy repo, uh, uh, git made easy folder of my of my local system and then I can do git init and dot so uh, so this is uh, you know, already initialized it is saying reinitializing existing git repository so it was already initialized that is why it is saying like this but you the the message you will see would be somewhat different after, after that what you can do is uh, you can see the status of this of this repo of this local repo you can do git status and when you do git status you uh, there is a message so here it is written on branch master your branch is up to date uh, with origin master nothing to commit working tree clean so you can um, uh, get the status of what all uh, what all branches you have and what all uh, that uh, that uh, are, are your files tracked or not and all of that stuff then you can have uh, then you can add files the, the untracked files you can add them so if i if I made a change, make a change over here, so I'll do ls and then vi and then I'll open this readme file and I'll change something. So what I'll do would be, so yeah, so I'll do just a space over here, right? And then I'll save it. Yeah, so now if I do get status, 
sorry if I do get status so you can see oh sorry get and then status so you can see a modified readme.md here it is showing in red color because I have made changes to this file and I have not added this uh, to my staging to my staging stage so what you need to do is you need to have git add and then you can add the you can use file name uh, like readme.md or what you can do is dot and slash so I'll do that and then I'll do git status and now I get modified readme.md so you can do that stuff and after adding your file into your staging then you have to then you need to commit the changes so commit is basically you have to explain in one line that what you are doing and what uh, you have done in your code what you have what the change what uh, what are the changes you have made and uh, so do for doing that you have you need to do git commit commit hyphen m uh, the double quotes and then you have to write your message I won't be committing um, I'll just I will just tell you because I have already made so many commits in this file so uh, you can use this now you can uh, now for having a history of all the commits in your uh, repo you can use git log you can use git log so what it will do is git log uh, it will tell you all the history of all the commits and we, uh, who is the author and what date it, the code was pushed into this and all of that stuff all the details you can get using git log if you need to check only the uh, commits that are made that are made that are, uh, that have been made earlier you can use git log hyphen hyphen one line what it will do it will tell you that it is uh, the master branch and uh, the only one commit was made which was which was file added so i made this on so uh, the information is given over here in git uh, log on sunday december 24 after that there are actually some branches so if it's like if you have uh, if you are uh, if you are doing some work and you need to and if you if you have two teams uh, uh, working on the same repo so one team will be working on some part of the code and other team will be working on some part of some part of the code to so the, both of the branches so we are we call these teams as branches and when you have to uh, collaborate the code and you have to merge all the code then you use git merge so for making a branch you need to have you uh, type the command git checkout hyphen b and then branch name so if you are in branch A and you need to merge it into branch B so you can say git merge B and your branches will be merged so your code will be merged basically git is a version control system and in uh, huge organizations it is used to uh, you know building softwares and building all the versions of uh, a soft also for getting a graphical visualization of the git tree of uh, your git tree so it's like I can do here if I want to visualize this uh, repo, if I, uh, what I can do is get log hyphen one line, one line, and then this code, one line color graph decorate. So, one line color, hmm, color. Then I have graph, and then I have decorate. What it will do would be very interesting stuff. Okay, so this is a very small repo. I think I should go into a large repo. I will go into uh, let's see the uh, hashx. Yeah. Okay, so this is a very large repo, and uh, I will tell you how it looks over there, and then you do this command. Enter. So it will tell me how my tree looks. So and initially how my tree looked and after all of that stuff here you can see how at last how my tree looks. So here uh, you can see this. So it was initially like in one step it was like this and somewhat like this, this, this and then that. So I updated it all and I got this tree. And then you can have all of that nodes. So, so this was the final tree which I got, right? and after that you can use q to exit right so to sync local uh, okay if you have uh, initialized your git repo and you have uh, added all the files into you know tracking and then 
all the untracked files you have made it you have committed all the changes and if you now you want to have your new repo which you have made in your github and that local repo which you have uh, made in your system you need to sync both of them then you need to do this command git remote add origin and the url of the repo so what it will do would be it will ma made your make your lo local repo a remote repo and then you can push all your code using git push hyphen all or normally git push origin master you can specify the branch origin and then specify the branch master and uh, all your code will be pushed into that repo and if you want to fetch if you want to uh, generate all the history of like fetch and pull then you can use git remote hyphen v so here if i do this so it is like verbose in the full form of v is verbose and if i do git remote oh sorry git remote hyphen v then i get over here like i have fetched from here and pull or push over here so this was i did only in my repo only so it is not showing a whole f uh, bunch of information but yeah this is um, what i need to show you guys so this these are all the basic commands which you need to have and uh, the forking and all of the stuff you can do easily Th these are very easy things like uh, like for you for, for forking you can fork any repo so if like i go in my feed and so i go over here so this is some repo and i fork so i fork into my local profile so now it is forking okay so yeah so now this repo f earlier it was something keythms slash reading list now it is innovative coder slash reading list so now you can make your changes now you can uh, like clone this clone the this repo from this like using git clone and then this url don't uh, don't use sha like hashing algorithms at uh, first you will get confused use these uh, urls so you can use git clone and this then this url and uh, may, uh, get this uh, code then make changes and push the code to this repo then after that generate a pull request over from here and send this pull request to uh, so here it is showing there isn't anything to compare because I haven't made any changes. But uh, if you made if you make any change and then send a pull request to the user, then this keythms will get a request will will get a pull request. And if he merges my branch, then I'll also be a contributor in this in this uh, repo. So as of now, I think I will delete this repo because I don't need it. So for deleting you, so for deleting you need to go into settings. And then at the bottom you have this then you can have the name of this repo which is reading list so I'll just copy it from its URL command C and then command V I understand yeah and I need to specify my password yeah done so I have deleted and guys if you want to have this these all these commands then you can come to this repo get made easy in my profile and uh, you can have all these commands over here uh, i'll also specify a link in the description of this video that how you can uh, that uh, how the link of this video i'll specify it in the description so this was all for this video if you like the content then please hit the like button subscribe my channel and follow me on instagram i put a lot of interesting stuff over there thank you